the Federal Reserve is considering a digital dollar. The implications for privacy and freedom are frightening. Hello, I'm Steve Forbes, and this is What's Ahead, where you get the insights you need to better navigate these turbulent times. Central banks around the world are examining whether they should create digital currencies. China is gradually enrolling one already. Japan may launch a digital yen by 2026. India is moving ahead in this front. The Federal Reserve is on the bandwagon here, where experiments and studies are already underway. These moves to what is dubbed a central bank digital currency, CBDC, may sound like making sure financial institutions are keeping up to date and ensuring currency stability amid cryptos that are crashing in value, along with the sensational multi-billion dollar collapse of crypto exchange FTX. Now, advocates say CBDCs will help central banks better fight inflation because they'll have more direct control over the money supply, that it will sharply speed up transaction payments between buyers and sellers in the marketplace, where settlements, most particularly if they cross borders, can take days before a payment clears and you can access your money. It will also help fight money laundering and keep rogue nations from evading sanctions. But central bank digital money is ominous. The downside of governments being able to track digitally every single product or service you buy and sell is chilling. This is where China is headed. India has been trying to reassure skeptics by declaring that transactions would stay, quote, largely anonymous, end quote. But government bureaucracies won't be able to resist the temptation. They'll always have excuses like fighting crime or combating tax cheating. CBDCs would give officials a powerful tool of control and manipulation. It would be an irresistible drug for central banks trying to direct the economy. If they think the economy is overheating, they could freeze a certain percentage of your cash. Or if these poobahs decide that things are too slow, they could punish people who, they conclude, are saving too much. Spend it or lose it, they could decree. If you have undesirable political views, you might not be able to access your money since traditional cash would be outlawed and your digital cash would be in a government-approved digital wallet. Digital cash would even allow governments to fine-tune monetary policy with individualized interest rates. Then there's the all-too-real challenge of security. Digital cash systems would be a hacker's delight. The treasure trove of data governments would have on every aspect of your life would be breached. As for speeding up payments, that can be achieved with improved electronic transfers. The Federal Reserve already has an experiment with that underway called FedNow. Congress should immediately hold hearings on the subject of central bank digital cash and ban the Fed from creating a digital dollar. Government digital cash is a formula for tyranny. I'm Steve Forbes. Thanks for listening. Do send in your comments and suggestions. I look forward to being with you soon again. I came to just make a very brief video. This is a warning. <laughs> I need y'all to read this sign. This was at my bank this morning, um, and I'm pretty sure that it's been there for at least a few weeks. It's not a new sign. Um, and it's basically saying that the Federal Reserve is not making available new currency, meaning they are not printing any more of this paper money I'm going to want you to do with that what you will. You can take it how you want. Drop me a comment. Something's going on. I've been trying to warn everybody for years that this is coming, bro. Let me show y'all some crazy shit. So in Nigeria, 73 million mobile phones were blocked. They can't make calls or call anybody or even send texts, bruh. This is because these people didn't register for the National Digital Identity Database. Now, let me explain what this database is. A database with all your fingerprints, a picture of you, and a whole bunch of personal information. And once they have all the information, you are given a number, bro. A literal number. They search this number up and get all this information. Y'all can't tell me that this is normal. People can't even call people if they're not signed up for this. Something very big is about to happen in our world. So let's discuss digital currency. 
are you guys aware, and I, I'm sure you are, and I hope you are, that we are trying to be pushed into completely digital currency. That's the whole reason for Bitcoin and all that other stuff launching and coming out. And if you're paying attention, China just made it so that people's own money that they have in their bank accounts will expire every single month. That is a way that they're going to control people. They are trying to get it here as well in the United States. So the best way for us to fight this is to pay cash whenever, however possible. So are you guys aware that in the United States, we are currently at a 23% cash usage. 23%, that is entirely too low. And if we get to 10%, y'all, or less, we are going full digital currency. And if that happens, I say if, tongue in cheek, because I have a feeling it's gonna be a win, they're going to do exactly what China's doing. They're going to take control of your money because they can keep you poor. And when they keep you poor, they keep you under control. So start shopping local companies, American-owned companies, as much as possible mom and pop shops and use cash.